We all fall short of the glory of God. We all are gonna fall short. We're all gonna make mistakes. We're not perfect. You know what's crazy about being, so one of the things I realized about being a Christian, over the years, and you know, reading the word, studying the word, you know, the Bible tells you what not, what's to do and what not to do. What's an abomination in the eyes of Christ? What's, you know, what's good in the eyes of Christ, right? Um, a lot of people, you know, they do good in the world, right? And you got your people who do bad in the world, right? What people don't understand about the Christian faith is you can be doing all the right things, right? And it'll be looked at as soft. Let me give you an example. Someone may curse you out in your face, right? And as a Christian, you be like, okay, like, he cursed me out of my face. See, and as a normal human being, that normal human being would be like, bro, man up. Like, curse at him back. Like, no, because the Bible talks about regardless of how you how somebody treats you, to treat them with love, to always treat them with love, treat your neighbor with love and respect, regardless of what they do, what a person does to you. I think one of the hardest things about the Christian faith is when you make a mistake and, you know, everybody sees, oh, man, he's the Christian guy. Or, he's the Christian lady or uh, my father. She's the Christian lady. And they made a mistake. Like, now let's get on, you know, let's get on their head. Let's get on, you know, let's get get on them because they made a mistake. Oh, God isn't like that. But see, that's where they're wrong. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to fall short. You're going to fall into pits. You're going to stumble. You're going to fall. You're going to suffer like Jesus did. You're going to go through things like Jesus did. Now, Jesus never sinned, right? He never sinned. He never made mistakes, even though he was going through tribulations he didn't fall to those tribulations but see he's a different breed he's perfect right but then there's us we make mistakes as regular human beings we're going to make mistakes we're going to do things that are not of god christians are going to do things that aren't of god all the time like this all throughout the entire life you're not going to go throughout your entire life without sinning i don't care what you who, who you think you are or what how much status and clout you think you can have that can protect you and hide you nothing is going to protect you from sinning nothing but you know what there's there's one thing that can you know give you a little security blanket from not sinning as much and that's the word the word the word is the bread of life fill your soul up with the bread of life now it's now the bible does talk about men shall not live on bread alone when it when, when it talks about bread alone, it's not talking about the in biblical sense, right? It's not talking about the Bible. It should not live on worldly knowledge. It should not live on worldly being. It should not live on just what you know from the street knowledge, what you know from a book knowledge, a regular book knowledge. It's what you know, wisdom, wisdom, godly wisdom, godly knowledge. That's how you combat that. We're all going to fall short. The world's going to judge you regardless of if you're doing good and if you're doing bad. But who are you trying to really prove yourself to? Are you trying to prove yourself to the world? Or are you trying to prove yourself to God? You have to make that decision. Where do you lie? Do you are you are you trying to prove, you know what I'm saying, to God that you are who you are by doing his will? Or are you trying to prove to man that you're a certain type of way while trying to mix in? some of God, which you can't do. Because the faith is not a lukewarm faith, bro. The Holy Spirit can't work in you if you're trying if you're lukewarm. The Holy Spirit is only a straight and narrow path. Man, I'm trying to tell you, man, we all are gonna fall short. We're all going to make mistakes. It is okay to make mistakes. Now, it is not okay to sin necessarily in that sense, right? But you have to know that you're going to fall short. Regardless of how perfect you think your life is, you're going to. I'm just here to let you know, like, bro, it's deeper than the surface. It's deeper than the surface, bro, on how you, how people can judge you. Because people are going to judge you, you know, oh, man, look what he did. Like, he went out and he went to a little party, a little kickback. Like, God don't like that. But they... But, oh yeah, I can do it because I'm not as close to God as he is or as she is. Oh, she got drunk last night. He got drunk last night. Like, okay, what they got to do with you? At the end of the day, it's between you and God. You got to talk to God about that. Their judgment isn't isn't your judgment. At the end of the day, God's judgment 
is the only judgment. Words are opinions. Words are opinions at the end of the day. God is the, is the final judger. But I hope you learned something from this. The main thing you want to know is we're all going to fall short. But the biggest thing that we can do is ask God for forgiveness, ask God for repentance, and to try and turn away from that sin and to do it no more. But you have to acknowledge it in your mind first that you committed that, that sin that you did. And then you have to be willing to change. But I won't hold you any longer. I appreciate you for watching as always. God bless the brotherhood and sisterhood.